Hey, what's up everybody? Nick Weiss here with a pro tip for you today, how to use continuity with your iPhone and your Mac wirelessly. Now this is a feature that Apple has released with 16.0, that's iOS 16.0 and Mac OS Ventura 13.0. And it first came out, it was awesome, everything worked great. And maybe you're like me, you wanna increase your workflow, you wanna try new things, you wanna get some clutter off your desk. And by clutter, I mean cables, who wants 100 lightning cables and USB-Cs and things of that nature. And so Apple released this and I was super excited. And at first, it all worked well. It was great, I'll use my iPhone as a wireless webcam to my MacBook there. I had board meetings, I had phone calls, right? FaceTime, phone calls, whatever. And I even recorded some video there, but after the recent updates, that something happened. I don't know what, but I could no longer connect my iPhone to my Mac Studio wirelessly, and that was driving me nuts. And while using a lightning cable, this is the interesting thing, using a lightning cable um, from my Mac Studio to my iPhone, it worked great seamless flawless all was well but again who wants an extra cable on their desk especially if they advertise this product to be wireless right and to add to that i had even used it wirelessly before and so i checked all the things apple support had no solutions for me youtube had no solutions for me i mean they had a lot of suggestions all things i had done two or three times prior to checking so I, I decided to do some digging of my own, but here you go. If you're trying to use your iPhone with your Mac, a few things to run through. Here's the normal, typical Apple stuff that you will find on their website. It says, first and foremost, right, to make sure that your iPhone and your Mac can use continuity, right? What that means is you need an iPhone XR or later. I believe iPhone XR is the 10, the iPhone 10, right? Or, or something newer, you need that for one, and you need any Mac compatible with Mac OS Ventura. Fun fact, not all Macs are, but if you have those, you're off to a great start. The next thing is you wanna make sure that they are both updated to the current version of iOS and Mac OS, right? So that's 16.3, 13.3 at the time of this video, maybe tomorrow it's gonna to be 16.4, who knows, right? But that's the next one. If you haven't unlocked your phone, this is the next one. If you haven't unlocked your iPhone since it last restarted, unlock it and then lock it again. I don't really know why or get that. But that's what they say. The next one, you want to plug your phone into your Mac, right? So you want to get that lightning cable out and you want to plug it in. A uh, prompt will come up on your phone. It'll say trust or don't trust this computer. Choose trust this computer. Um, and if you're lucky, you can disconnect it and it will work. For me, that did not work. Um, and the last thing they suggest there is restart your iPhone and Mac, which I did several times with no luck there. Um, additional requirements, Apple lists that your iPhone and Mac must be signed in with the same Apple ID. Specifically, it needs to be signed in and using a two-factor authentication, which mine were, um, so I don't know why that, that wasn't the problem, right? Uh, the next one, camera must have continuity camera turned on in settings, right? And so you go on your phone, you go to settings, go to the general tab, go to airplay and handoff. And you'll see a list there and there'll be continuity and you just want to put that on. So if you've never used it before and it's not working, that might be the case and that's just an easy fix there for you. Next one they list, iPhone and Mac must be near each other. That's a no-brainer, but you can't be, you know, down the road at your neighbor's house. You need to be near each other. They both need to have Bluetooth and they need to have Wi-Fi turned on and on the same network there. Uh, next one, your iPhone and Mac cannot be sharing their cell signal. So a phone, you can't be sharing your cell signal with anybody else if you have a hotspot going on. And if you have a Mac, you're not sharing your inter con internet connection with anybody else. And then the last one that they list there is that you cannot be using AirPlay or Sidecar at the same time you're trying to use continuity. So if you have Sidecar on your, um, your iPad, right, that's a way to kind of extend your display. Um, if you're using that, they say it won't work um, at the same time. So that might be your problem. But this is all the stuff that you can find online on Apple's forum there, um, solutions that they offer. And if that stuff worked for you, 
great. Um, thanks for watching. Drop a like, a subscribe, whatever. But if it didn't work and you're like me, continue watching here and you'll see that I found an easy solution here, right? Here's how I got to um, a solution that finally worked for me. I hope it works for you and that you guys take this continuity thing and just rock it. But here we go. Is that um, if you've done all the previous things and nothing's happened, I mean, you've updated things and that's all good stuff, right? Um, like preemptive, um, <clears throat> proactive, if you will. If you've done all that stuff, now try this, okay? Now check it out here. I got my screen up. On your Mac, you're gonna go and you're gonna open settings. All right, opening settings up there. After you open your settings, you're gonna scroll down. So you're gonna scroll down a bit here. See, we got general. We're gonna scroll past that to privacy and security. Once you get to privacy and, and security, we're gonna scroll down just a bit and we're gonna to go to Bluetooth. And you should see a screen like this that you see on my Mac here. And so then once we open up Bluetooth, we're gonna click the plus button right down here. And then it's gonna ask if I wanna modify settings, right? And I'm gonna enter my password. And then you're gonna get this folder that's gonna pop up. Now, once this folder pops up, you're gonna go through the applications and you're gonna to start to check the ones that you want. So for me, like FaceTime, for instance, is one that I want. My Mac Studio does not have a webcam, so it'd be real nice to use my iPhone wirelessly with my Mac Studio if I was gonna get on, say, a conference call. You'll choose FaceTime, maybe you'll choose QuickTime if you're trying to make a video and using it as a camera. OBS, it's another one that I use. Um, photo Booth, if you're into that kind of thing. So after that, you're gonna click Open right here. And as you can see, I already have those in here, QuickTime Player, OBS, FaceTime, and they're all checked on. After you get the applications all um, open there and in that Bluetooth folder there, they're all checked on there. What you want to do next is you want to quit any of those applications if they are running right now. Quit them, close them out, and then open them and relaunch them. For me, this was an instant success. It worked, boom problem solve right and if it doesn't work right away what i would say is try restarting your iphone and your computer and try it again and it should work now again for me this was an instant solution very easy but i had to do some digging things that i could not find on a forum and so i hope that this helps helps you i hope this solution works for you if it did work for you if you could just drop a thumbs up in the comments below drop a comment drop a like um whatever you may feel but just let me know that it worked um i don't know maybe nobody else has this problem and it's only me but i feel like there's probably more so iphone mac continuity web wireless web uh, cam if it doesn't work hopefully this is your solution there they'll probably fix it on 16.4 and 13.4 but hey we don't got time to waste so if this video was helpful for you um, i just want to ask that you subscribe this is my first video that i'm actually releasing on youtube and i have plenty more coming uh, i just came across this problem this specific problem of continuity as i was setting up for another video that i was trying to do and i figured that this was of the utmost importance for my fellow apple users and so i wanted to make this quick video to help you guys out if you're having the same trouble. So like and subscribe. I'll be posting some real world uh, tech reviews. What I mean by real world tech reviews is I'm gonna be using them in my workflows, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, things of that nature. And I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that I do, some tech reviews for those things, as well as ministry hacks. If you are in ministry or you're in something like ministry and you are on a tight budget, and you want to use your budget wisely, but you wanna be effective, efficient, and you wanna do things with excellence, I'm gonna be sharing some of my tips, tricks, things that I've learned from failure, things I've learned from success with you guys to hopefully, hopefully encourage, educate, and uh, excite you guys, right? Go out there, have a blessed life, guys, and uh, thanks for watching.